Hey guys, Nick here with Gear Nut, and the Nightcore store sent down a sweet light for us to check out. And I must say, this is pretty freaking epic. You know, 1800 lumens is a lot of light to be coming out of an 18650 flashlight. You know, especially with an emitter head that's sleek, slender. You know, it doesn't have a huge reflector. It's pretty freaking awesome. So, this is the Nightcore. Let me show it to you guys so you can look at it. This is the Nightcore MH12 GTS. It's using a Cree XHP35 HD LED. Puts out 1800 lumens. <laughs> a little bit much, right? <laughs> it's pretty impressive. A good little light, you know. This sucker is... Let's, let's take a look at the battery real quick because it's it all starts with your battery, right? This little light can actually use multi-fuel, so it's got a bunch of different batteries it can use. It can use two RCR-123s, two CR-123As, an IMR-18650, an 18650 with an 8A or higher rating. Do not use 18650 batteries that are below an 8A rating. It, this light will try to draw too much juice from them, and it will not end well for your battery. So. This battery is a Nightcore brand NL1835HP. 18, <laughs> Sorry guys, shooting specs right now. Uh, it's an 18650, it's rocking 3.6 volts, 12.6 watt hours, 3,500 milliamp hour. And it's got the AA rating, so it is a, let me show you, it's a high drain battery. So it's designed for high drain devices. And this Nightcore MH12 GTS is a high drain device. I had a wheel bug that was annoying me and outside of my window when I was doing research on products. So I took this light <laughs> and I took it out there and I put it on turbo and it killed that wheel bug. It puts out so much light, it actually killed a bug. <laughs> I didn't hit him with it, I just put it up to them, turned it on, and just let the light do the work. So, not a toy, guys. This thing's pretty freaking epic. It's got dual springs. It's got a gold-plated dual or spring right here and another one down inside. Positive down. So, nice, stiff springs. It's IPX8 waterproof. We'll touch base on that a little later, but it is IPX8, passed all my tests. So, but I do have one thing I would change about this light. The threads on here are uncoated, so there's no anodizing. They're very square, coarse, big O-ring, very nice to see that. You do have to service these every six months, so clean them off every six months. And you have to put on some, I think it's silicone-based lubricant. So that's what they recommend in their instructions. I also recommend doing that. There is some maintenance with flashlights. A lot of people don't understand that. And let me uh, touch base on one thing. If you don't like this tactical ring, it's threaded, it can come off, but you do have to remove your O-ring in order to remove it safely without damaging your O-ring. If you do damage your O-ring, they give you a spare, so it's it's pretty nice. So I like to keep this on here. It is a little cumbersome sometimes, but I do like the cigar grip or the tactical grip. It's it's a pretty, pretty sweet on this light. Once you put your battery in, you're going to have a battery meter. So this just blinked four times, that beautiful blue, I love it. When you put the battery in, it's gonna give you the battery voltage. This blinked four times, had a space, and then blinked once, so I'm at 4.1 something volts. I like that. <laughs> it's super awesome, blue's my favorite color. If you tap this, it's gonna blink another couple times. So the battery meter on here is designed to, let me just kinda shoot the specs they show you. So three blinks is 50% or greater on your battery. Two blinks is gonna be 50% to 10%, and one blink is gonna be 10% or lower. As soon as your battery needs changed or charged, this thing is just gonna continuously blink. So a really beautiful blue light. Absolutely love that. <laughs> it's a micro USB rechargeable, and that's where we get to the ding on this light. Nightcore, I, I really like this light. It's a, it's a fantastic light, but I would like to see a better retention system over your micro USB plug right here. So this sometimes will flip over like so, 
and it impedes my functioning of pushing the button. So I would like to see this have a little bit more retention. I didn't notice any issues with waterproofing. I didn't have any issues whatsoever, and I was very vigorous on performing the test of the IPX8, and it passed. It passed extremely well. So, but I would like to see that have a little bit more retention. It's just something I would prefer. So, but anyhow, this light's micro USB rechargeable. If you want to recharge it, you flip this over, you plug in your included micro USB cable, and it's going to have a beautiful blue light back here as well. It's going to blink when it's charging and be solid when it's ready to go. Super simple, super simple. It's got a very nice pocket clip has a lot of retention on it. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> so anyhow, let's pop this thing off. Let me get it down into, you just tap. So on and off is gonna be your tail switch right here. That's the only way to turn this light on and off. So turn it on, and then this is your mode switch. You just tap it to go through the modes, double tap to get into your special modes, and push and hold when in a special mode to cycle between those modes. So, right now we are in ultra low. So, this is super low. This is one lumen, 250 hours. Tap it, goes up to low, which is 70 lumens for 19 hours. Tap it again, goes to mid for 240 lumens for five hours and 45 minutes. Tap it one more time. Let me angle my hand, because I can start feeling some of this heat. <laughs> it kills bugs, guys, I'm telling you. <laughs> So this is high of 900 lumens, two hours and 15 minutes. Tap it one more time, let me back my hand up because this is 1800 lumens for 30 minutes, this is turbo. And uh, that's what I killed that bug in. This thing is crazy, you know. When you see a Cree XHP35 HD LED on a package on a flashlight, and then you have a high discharge or high drain battery compared with that, then yeah, it's gonna be a scary, awesome, freaking sweet light. So I wouldn't leave this around the house. I wouldn't let your kids play with it. <laughs> you know, they can zap themselves extremely easily. And uh, you know what? Let's, uh, what's really cool, like say you're in, you're in low, right? And you want an instant access to turbo. Just push and hold this side switch and boom, it gives you access to turbo. As soon as you let up, it goes right back down to low or whatever mode you're on. I love that feature, super fantastic. This light does get hot, but it takes care of itself. It's got ATR, advanced temperature regulation. So it keeps the light from getting too hot by downgrading the light output automatically. And that's a nice safety feature. You know, it may seem inconvenient at the time you're using it, but it's better that your light downgrades and stays safe then shorts out and breaks or blows up. So, if you guys are get off put by those safety features, maybe this light's not for you and you're living on the edge. <laughs> That's a dangerous, dangerous way to live. So, but let's get on to the special modes. The special modes are pretty cool. So, let's go over, there's strobe, there's beacon, and then there's SOS. So to access those when the light is on, let me get it down here so you guys can see. When the light is on, you just double tap, it takes you right into strobe right off the bat, press and hold, and it goes into beacon mode, which is pretty sweet. You know, there's plenty enough space, it's a great little beacon, <laughs> definitely draws some attention. And then you push and hold one more time, and it goes into SOS. So pretty cool, you know, you can turn the light off, turn it back on, and it'll go right back into low. It doesn't memorize your special modes. It will only memorize your normal five output modes. So it's got plenty of light outputs, you know, one lumen up to 1800 lumens. That's crazy. 1800 lumens, that's crazy. Now you're not gonna have those lumens forever because that ATR is gonna kick in. This light does get hot, you know, to be expected. It's got a type three hard anodized coating, so it's gonna be super durable. Very generous lanyard loops right here. I love to see that. They give you a super awesome, super sleek and slender pouch right here. 
It's got a nice D-ring at the top, night core little loop on the side. And the Velcro is some of the best Velcro I've ever seen. So you could stick this on your bag. I'd feel very confident it will still be there even if you're running through the bushes, you know, doing some hunting, chasing some turkeys or whatnot. Super cool, fits the light exceptionally well and it can even work with the pocket clip and that tactical ring. You don't have to take those off to utilize this. So very functional, great job Nightcore. There is your extra O-ring right here. So if you do damage your O-ring, they have an extra one for you. And a wrist lanyard, super cool. The USB cord they give you. This is the USB to micro USB. It's a micro USB rechargeable. Is super long. I love to see how long this is. The cord is very skinny, you know, still puts out a lot of juice, but it's super skinny. And then they give you a nice little attached Velcro little cord retainer or cord tidier. I love to see that, you know, that's just the extra thought that a company went to to help with their product. So Nightcore, I love the light, but I would like to see you guys change the retention system on this flap. That's the only thing I'd like to see. Um, if you guys do come out with an extra tail cap that has no micro USB recharging, I would still be down to buy one of those and just pull the battery out and charge it when I need to. This is a great light. It's a great tactical light. You know, you could leave it into turbo mode and just use it as that. And you can just press momentary on. You don't have to click it. Super cool. So let's go out in the backyard and do some footage of this, but Big shout out and thank you to the Nightcore store for sending this down. Go down, use those links in the description box below. Help support videos like this on my channel. If you like these style of videos, then try to buy from those links. It really does help my channel out, and I enjoy making these videos for you guys. So, Nick here with GearNut. Stay tuned for the backyard footage. But Nightcore, I think you guys did a fantastic job. I just would like to see a little more retention right here. So, stay tuned for the backyard footage. All right, so we're out in the backyard, <laughs> and uh, this thing is pretty sweet, you know. Uh, this is ultra low. Here is low. Here is mid. Here is high. <laughs> now high is getting with the business. It is really starting to project it out. You know, I'm getting treetops across over the way, about a block away over here. Here is your turbo. Your turbo is definitely putting out some juice. You know, you guys can start seeing that beam pattern. And it definitely will throw. It'll light up a backyard, no problems. It'll light up a tree, no problems. A big black walnut tree. This light's pretty sweet, you know. I like the simplicity of it. You know, the side switch changes the mode, tail switch on and off. You know, it's very user friendly. If you have friends that are not into flashlights and they're constantly asking to borrow one, this is a good light to have around. You know, um, I still would like to see that micro USB port the cover uh, be a little more secure or a little more, have, have better retention. But other than that, this Nightcore light's fantastic. You know, it's. It's super awesome. Love the battery meter, love the modes, you know, super easy to cycle through. Uh, double tap, push hold. <laughs> There's just a whole bunch to this light. You guys can see my breath, it's freaking cold out here. So, this light is warming up, that's to be expected, you know. You're putting out 1800 lumens, you're gonna get some heat. So, Nick here with GearNut, if you're thinking about picking one of these up, go down to the description box below. I would recommend it. I think it's a great light, but I would like to see that micro USB uh, port cover have just a little more retention. So, but yeah, check that description box out. Uh, I'm going to go inside and drink some nice warm coffee because it is chilly. I'll catch you guys later.